All right, so back at the lathe. Got the apron up here on the workbench after clearing off a ton of garbage. And I think it's a good time to take a look at it. So this model of lathe has both the regular feed control for the whole carriage moving left to right. As w and you can see in here, this bit of gearing when engaged will actually turn with the hand crank. This piece of gearing itself is actually controlled by a feed screw, well the feed rod, the one that's not uh, threaded, and that will actually allow you to, like I was showing you, control the hand wheel, but if you turn it around, it'll actually engage with the second gear here, and this bit of gearing goes up to the cross feed and allows you to do a powered cross feed as well, which is nice. Let's see what we've got. So we've got the oil pump here. Actuation looks good. I squirted a bunch of well, relatively clean looking oil all over. And not really much rusting down there in the oil cup. Looks in good condition. Face plate's really nice. Let's see the back of this here. It's mostly just pretty greasy, but uh, this the feed gear here, I don't know if you can see that. That should be a better view for you. If you can see the spur gear here has had quite a bit of wear. It's no longer flat on the points. At least as far as I understand, that should be a lot. It shouldn't be so uh, star-shaped like that. So it's probably had a decent amount of wear on it. I don't think the... I think this piece would have been a little bit weaker than the rack on the bottom of the bed weighs itself. And yeah, if you look at the rack here, there is a bit of wear on it. You can see where it's rounded over along the tips, but it's definitely not nearly worn that much. It is a little worn, but eh, it's an old lathe. But back over to the apron. Yeah, got want to get that, uh, you don't want to lean it forward on the front. Looks pretty clean down in there with it where this engages. There's a little bit of, a little bit of play. I'm wondering what, uh, if you can see that. Yeah. I'm wondering how much play that's supposed to have. I need to get in there and look at the bearings. It all, this whole function has felt a little bit loose, so I guess that'll come with the uh, disassembly. And on the bottom here, we've got the oil reservoir in it. Looks in good condition. We got the, uh, looks like that, uh, plug at the bottom has actually been replaced recently, so, well, when I say recently, I mean sooner than 70 years ago, but, uh, yeah, all right, and of course I just got oil all over, well, that's fine, I'm gonna grab some tools, get that thing emptied out and then we'll start taking things apart. Okay, I think uh, first order of business might be getting some of these handles off. Let's see if we... Uh, I don't really like the angle of that. Some sockets here. Let's see if we've got something the right size. Uh, three quarter. Uh, that seems to be a good fit. And a wrench. Mm. 
Oh, that didn't, that wasn't uh, difficult at all. And oh, right off. It's uh, not nearly as difficult as all the thing, other things on this have been. Uh, maybe that last half inch is the difficult part. Let's get the key out here. So. I hopefully don't lose that. Got all the other keys so far saved up pretty well. And on the back we've got another nut I might want to might want to actually put that handle back on for a second if this yeah, I have no tra traction on that. It's, well, easy off, easy on. Here we go. Uh, let's see if that uh, that gives us leverage we need. Whew. It's not pinned or anything, is it? No, it's just going to be tight. persuasion here. Let's get this nice and locked in there and we'll see. Hmm. Don't like how much that rocks. Uh, what about here? Hmm. Need to lock this in. something more sturdier than that. <laughs> that ought to stop that from rotating. for stopping that rotating.
and there we go. Yeah, it looks like we've got a bearing in there, so let's stand this up before dropping anything out on the ground. All right, let's gently get this out. Hmm, I actually wonder if it comes out the other direction. Let's see a little bit of tap on the handle. Yep. Huh, it moves a bit. Oh, there's a, that's not going to be easy to come out. Looks like it's actually mounted on top of a, a spur gear in there. Uh, well, let's see if this will slide off the shaft well enough with just little bit of taps. I don't think that's going in. No, that's working its way through, slowly. It's made a little bit of distance. Well, something's working its way through. Ah, that's what's coming out, this back piece. I was looking at the other side, didn't realize that that bushing there was coming out with it. There's no set screw on this bushing, is there? No, it just looks like there's an oil port at the top. Almost there. Hmm. There we go. Let's uh, zoom you out in a bit. Okay. Let's see, this should just come right out. There we go. All right, so that's the uh, shaft assembly there. Um, yeah, I'm getting dirt all over it, but let's see, let's get this back on at least hand tight. That way we can prevent these roller bearings from coming apart, getting lost. Last thing I need is have to replace more bearings than I need to all inspect those bearings later. Okay, what do we have next? Maybe we just work on down the line. Yeah, this one right here. There is. Let me grab a rag to clean that up. 